good evening everyone so as part of our course as of now we understood what is the spring core module what is ioc container what is the dependency injection what is auto wiring how to develop a boot applications component scanning those stuff we discussed and after that we discussed about spring data jpa how to develop persistence layer by using spring data jpa what is crud repository and what is jpa repository that we discussed as part of our classes and also we discussed about spring web mvc so what is spring web mvc module how to develop web applications by using spring web mvc what is mvc architecture what is the dispatcher servlet front controller that is handler mapper controller view resolver how to work with jsp as a presentation technology how to work with the time leaf as a presentation technology how to develop form based applications and how to perform form validations that we have discussed okay then after we discussed about rest api how to develop restful services by using spring boot how to develop restful services by using spring boot what is distributed application how to deal with the xml data by using jaxb api how to deal with json data by using jackson api that we have discussed and we developed rest controller get mapping post mapping put mapping delete mapping how to handle exceptions in the rest api how to test the rest api by using postman how to develop documentation for the rest api by using swagger okay and how to develop rest client how to develop rest client by using rest template and web client what is synchronous communication what is asynchronous communication that we have discussed after that we discussed about spring security how to secure our apis by using spring security concept what is basic authentication how to customize the security credentials okay how to develop our own security configuration class how to implement security for particular urls in our application how to secure urls for particular you how to secure specific url patterns okay how to use in memory authentication how to use jdbc authentication what is oauth and what is jwt that we discussed in the security then after we started the discussion related to microservices what is microservice architecture what is monolith architecture what are the differences between monolith architecture and microservices architecture what is the service registry what is api gateway what is the fee and client what is the ribbon okay we discussed about the microservices concept after microservices concept we discussed about config server we discussed about config server so what is a config server config server is used to externalize configurations from our application instead of configuring everything in the project we want to keep the configuration properties outside of the project okay so we have discussed about config server and we discussed about we discussed about redis cache okay so redis cache that is used to improve performance of the application by loading the data so instead of communicating with the database we can communicate with the redis cache to get the data so that application performance will be improved along with that we discussed about circuit breaker what is the purpose of circuit breaker circuit breaker is a design pattern that is used to develop fault tolerant systems circuit breaker is used to develop fault tolerant systems what is the meaning of fault tolerant systems okay here whenever some problem occurred in the application whenever some problem occurred in the application instead of sending the exception to the client we need to execute some fallback logic to execute that fallback logic we are going to implement circuit breaker in the project we are going to implement circuit breaker in the project are you guys clear along with this we discussed about unit testing how to unit test our rest api by using junit and mocking so junit we have used to perform unit testing as part of the junit we have implemented mocking also junit is used for implementing unit testing for our applications to perform isolated unit testing to perform 
isolated unit testing, we are going for mocking. To perform isolated unit testing, we are going for mocking. Are you guys clear with my point? So these are the concepts we have discussed as of now. Spring Core Module, Spring Data JPA, Spring Web MVC, REST API, Spring Security, Microservices, Config Server, Redis Cache, Circuit Breaker, Unit Testing, JUnit Testing by using Mocking. So these concepts we have covered so far. Now, what are the pending topics available, guys? So what topics that you guys are expecting from me? So if you uh, tell me the pending topics so that we will plan our classes according to those topics. So from my side, already uh, I explained that Apache Kafka is pending. So I need to explain what is Apache Kafka and how to communicate with Apache Kafka by using Spring Boot application. Apache Kafka is pending and Mono and Flux concept is pending. What is Mono and Flux? This topic is pending from my side. Mono and Flux. Anything else, guys? Anything else that uh, is pending? Will from... Sorry, will you discuss transaction management, sir? Transaction management, okay. Uh... In microservice and art, monolithic. Sir. Transaction Both. management in applications. Microservice and monolithic. Okay, okay. good. Uh, one more thing, sir. Can you yeah. discuss once, uh, like with the uh, front end application, how using JWT token and refresh token, how we are communicating? Okay, sure. Okay, so front end and back end integration with the JWT, front end and back end integration with the JWT tokens? Actually, um, I have tried to do that. Uh, in case of Postman, it is working fine. If we will provide the uh, bearer token, na, there it is working fine. But whenever, uh, though I have handled the course error, there is 403 forbidden access error is coming. So that's okay. why. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Sure. Anything else that is pending from my side, guys? One more question, sir. Like yeah. uh, this, uh, you have explained once, right? We will be having one JP API separate and REST controller is separate as a microservice application, right? So that in that JPA, wherever we are doing the DB connection, we can uh, <clears throat> means give that circuit breaker uh, architecture there. And if the DB is down, we can access the data from our Redis cache and we can access it. So what kind of design pattern it is? That is called as fault tolerant, circuit breaker design pattern. Okay, that, that known as circuit breaker or fault tolerance, right? Okay. Fault tolerance. So to implement that fault tolerance, only we are going for circuit breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told circuit breaker, but maybe they were expecting fault tolerance. Okay. Yeah, no. Anything else that is pending from my side, guys? And do you have any questions so far? Sir, to explain our project in interview, do we need to say, uh, uh, accept this ready means microservices architecture and the, the circuit breaker that fault tolerance architecture like in system design round, do we need to say any other architecture as well? We are using in this. In yeah, that's fine. Thing. These are sufficient. These are sufficient. Okay. And somebody saying that how to connect with multiple databases. Connecting with multiple databases. So if you want to connect to two different databases from the sp same Spring Boot, this is very famous interview question. How to connect with multiple databases? Connecting with multiple databases. I think already I have given one video in the YouTube and the code is also available in the GitHub repository, guys. So if you see, uh, if you go to GitHub repo, uh, multiple databases. I think I have that repository. Databases, multi DB. Yeah, Spring Boot multi DB configuration. So this Git repository is already there. In this Git repository, we have written the configuration 
how to communicate with the multiple databases. If you go to the resources in the properties file, here we are going to configure two different databases. So this is Oracle database configuration and this is MySQL database configuration. So when we are configuring two different databases, we need to create some additional configuration classes in our application. So if you go to config, so user db config.java, this is used to connect with one database and another configuration class will be available, which is used to connect with the different database. So this project is used to connect with the two different databases. When we want to connect with the two different databases, we need to write additional configuration in the project. If you want to connect with the single database, then directly whatever the configuration properties we are adding in the project, directly it will load those configuration properties and it will create the data source object. But when you want to connect with the multiple databases, we need to customize our configuration. Okay, fine, good. Anything else guys? Anything else that is pending from my side? Any, anybody, any questions anybody having? Any questions that anybody having? Uh, sir, this exception handling you told, right, that uh, since we can do global level and we can do for each controller as well, right? Correct. So in that case, do we, means we no need to use try catch anywhere in our application or no. it's like. No, you can use try catch block. Suppose if you want to throw whenever some problem occurred, you want to throw user defined exception that user defined exception you can handle in the global exception handler try catch block we can use it suppose some problem occurred whenever some problem occurred i want to throw user defined exception for that user defined exception i will write the global exception handler you got my point okay okay yeah good and uh, one more thing, I know this is a, like a silly question, like this controller section uh, means most of the business logic we have to write in service only, na? not in controller. No, right? controller, controller is just a pass through. Controller will call the service layer. The business logic will execute in the service layer. Okay, okay, got it. Thanks. Yes. So we don't write any business logic in the controller. Controller is only responsible to deal with the request and response. Uh, one more interview question only, sir. Like, uh, why we came to the concept of JWT when we already had Spring Security? It is doing the same thing. Uh, is it because of the, like, we can get refresh token? and is we can it because get... we want to give the permission for them because, so when we are using micro service based oh, when we are developing the microservice based application, we want to provide the access for them based on the token. And I want to provide limited access for them, limited access for them, limited period of time only. I want to provide the access for them. That is the reason we are going for these tokens as part of security concept. Then sir, this OAuth 2, uh, is it need for backend server? Means this is mainly used in front end only, right? Like yeah. we no need. No, so OAuth is, you don't need to use that because OAuth we are using if you want to integrate our application with some third party uh, provided uh, tokens. So if user don't want to create the account in our application, then we can go with the OAuth. So by using third party account, they can log in into our application. Okay. Yes, sir. Perfect. Good guys, so fine. So we'll plan 
these topics. So tomorrow we are going to discuss this mono and flux object and uh, the topics, whatever are pending, we'll try to complete these topics by this weekend. So with this weekend, we are going to complete our Spring Boot and Microservices batch. Okay. Good guys, so please practice that. If you have any questions, you can post in the group or you can ask me in the tomorrow session. We'll continue the classes from tomorrow. And some important videos also I'm going to share. We already prepared 120 interview questions on the Spring Boot and microservices. We are going to share those question videos also in the group. So please go through them and prepare for those interview questions. Okay. Jacoco sonar cube difference, Shubharati. Jacoco is only for uh, generating the code coverage report. Sonar cube that is used for code review as well. We can do the code review also by using sonar cube. So I will make one video on the sonar cube so you that you will understand what is the difference between them. Cool. Good. Fine, guys. Thank you. With this, I'm stopping for now. So we'll plan these sessions. So any important videos that I will share in the group, please practice them. We'll meet in the tomorrow's class. Thank you. Yeah, hi Sohini, any question? Sohini, any question you have? You can unmute and you can speak out. Yeah, sir, actually, can you please share some system designing around uh, some uh, video, like uh, any suggestion, like they're asking a lot of questions, like how we are doing it, uh, everything, and why we are using this uh, service registry and all those things, like means everything counter question. So if you can share some system designing video. Sure, sure. I will gather some questions and I will share it. Okay, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you guys. So have a great evening. We'll meet in the tomorrow's class. Please practice the things.